All right, a lot more weather this morning, and it is bad right now just east of Albuquerque because roads are very slick and icy, and those winds are causing problems. News 13's David Romero is live at Cedillo Hill in the East Mountains with the very latest. David, where are we at right now? Well, Mike, right now the winds have finally calmed down just a bit here, but they are still blowing pretty hard. The snow has not let up. It's been coming down pretty hard for the last hour or two that we've been out here. Take a look behind me. Look at the snow on the ground. Now, you can tell how windy it is because the snow looks like white sands out here because it's just rippling through the parking lot. On the way out here, I-40, conditions going eastbound on I-40 were pretty bad because they were snow-packed and icy. Wind was blowing the vehicle all over the road. Two semis had pulled over. We're not clear... We're not sure as to why, but they had pulled over because the, the road where they were at was pretty bad. Another passenger truck had skidded into the guard wall. Uh, another semi-truck here on the Cedillo Hill exit finally got dislodged or unlodged uh, uh, just a short while ago, was able to free his truck. Another gentleman that was passing through I-40, through this area, heading to Missouri, stopped and talked to us just a few moments ago. He said that he's trying to find another route to get home because he's not sure how bad the conditions are on I-40 just east of here. We have seen the snow, pl uh, the snow trucks, the, the plows come through here, finally clearing the pathway and sanding the roads. If you take a look live right now at I-40 coming eastbound, you can see some of the semi-trucks finally making their way through. We've heard word that the APS uh, East Mountain schools are on a two-hour delay, and you can see why, because the snow is not letting up out here. If you don't have to head out in this part of the, the part of New Mexico, please stay home, because as we mentioned, we're not sure how bad the roads are further east of here, but if there are any indication as to what, what it was coming up here, they are pretty bad. Mike, back to you. Okay, David, thank you very much. Now, we'll be going back to David live in a half an hour or sooner, if need be, for another update on the changing weather. And if you have to travel today, check the State Road Conditions hotline before you head out. Just call that number 511. Stay with News 13 and KRQE.com for continuing coverage as that storm pushes through the state. And meteorologist Jason Laney will have your expanded weather forecast coming up in just four minutes, so stay with us for that.